From its webpage to its iPhone app, the Houston Zoo makes extensive use of technology. But it's not just visitors and staff who benefit. Residents also get in on the action, as primate keeper Helen Boostrom explains. Apps for Apes is a new enrichment program that we are introducing here at the Houston Zoo. We're basically introducing the iPad to our chimpanzees and our orangutans. And it is a great enrichment device because it offers us variety. It's a way to um, stimulate uh, men or provide mental stimulation and give them a chance to encounter a novel situation and object in the wild. They would be encountering those novel situations and problem solving. And here at the zoo, we want to provide that same experience. So the iPad is great because it provides us variety with all the different apps. So we can provide new apps or change apps depending on what their interests are. Enrichment is really important for these guys. The apes are very, very intelligent. In the wild, they'd be encountering all different kinds of novel situations. They actually use tools in the wild. They'll use branches to fish for termites, rocks to crack open nuts. So they use those problem-solving skills, and they're always trying to figure things out, especially how to get food, how to stay safe, um, shelter from things like rain. But here at the zoo, we, we provide them with food. We provide them with shelter. They don't have all those concerns, but we still want them to use their brains. We still want them to be mentally stimulated and even physically active. So we develop all different kinds of enrichment activities that are designed to promote those natural behaviors. So we'll hide their food in different puzzle feeders, we'll hide it around the exhibit so they actually have to forage for it instead of putting it in the big piles. For the chimpanzees we have a termite mouse so people can actually see um, the tool use for them fishing for not termites but for different fruits and juices and things and so they can actually see how smart they are and how they use those tools. Um, but the iPad is just a way, it's a new way. We always have to keep things inventive and new because they do figure out things so fast. They are so smart that after a while they've already figured out that problem and so they need a new challenge to come up with. And the apps that the iPad has, we can always provide a new challenge really, really quickly just by downloading a new app and introducing it to them. So the chimpanzees really like things that are noisy. In the wild, especially the males, do really big displays. They like to bang on objects and stuff, and that's a way for them to show how big and strong they are. Um, when they're in their big groups, they have to prove that they're big and strong. And even the females like the big noisy apps. So uh, we have lots of musical instruments that they really like. Both our chimpanzees and our orangutans have shown that they like to paint before with different um, painting, like acrylic paint and stuff, so non-toxic paint. So actually the iPad, we can have them paint on that as well. So we have several apps where they can paint, and some of them actually do music at the same time as they're painting. So when they uh, are painting, it actually plays a different kind of tune, depending on how they're painting. And then we have different games, like they like to catch objects, so there's a fishing game and a bug catching game. There's also different like flashcards, kind of, it's basically made for toddlers, where if they catch a picture, like if it's a dog, it'll bark, or a cow, it'll moo, and it shows different pictures. And they like those. Sally, one of our female chimpanzees, and um, Kelly, one of our uh, female orangutans, really like to look at picture books, and actually Cheyenne, one of our other orangutans, likes that. So they'll flip through the pages. Um, to look at different magazines and stuff. They really like ones that have other primates, so they'll look at different primates. Uh, generally, they like to look at like chimpanzees for these guys or orangutans for the others, but they actually seem to be interested in other primates and other animals as well. Not so much like scenery. They kind of skip over those really fast, but they'll look a little bit more closely if it's an animal. We also have different videos so that we'll show them of other chimpanzees or other orangutans or just different videos of like natural uh, documentaries and stuff where they can look at nature and they seem to enjoy those as well. You can learn more about Apps for Apes and other enrichment activities at the zoo on their webpage, www.houstonzoo.org. You can also follow them on Twitter or like them on Facebook. Who knows, one of these tech-savvy primates just might send you a friend request. For Stafford Magazine, I'm Stacy Hawkins.